Hello! <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Shar and welcome back to my kitchen! Not that you have ever been here. <laughs> um, also, don't mind the boxes behind me because I'm in the middle of moving. Um, anyway, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shar and today we're gonna make Martha Stewart's cookies with our air fryer. gonna do Martha Stewart soft cookies. I'm just hold on, okay. Somebody's like crazy. Baby, come on. Yeah. By the way, hello, this is my baby. I'm sorry that if it's so bright, you can't see her. I think you can't see. Anyway, okay. Ouch. Ouch. Um, so we're gonna be using Martha Stewart's um ingredients. Huh? <laughs> Recipe. Not ingredients. We're gonna be using Martha Stewart's recipe. If you want the recipe, I'm gonna link the, the her website below. Um, yeah, but I've written down everything here and also the instructions. Okay, so we're just gonna... I'm gonna read through everything that we need and I'm gonna be preparing. Why do I have a knife? Okay, anyway. Um, and also, please don't mind my phone here, so it's gonna record at the same time. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, let's go. So first, we need to wash our hands because I just touched my dog and I've been touching her face. I need to wash my hands. I'm gonna be wa wash my hands. I'm gonna wash my hands first. Hold on. Okay, so I've washed my hands. First, we need a whisk. Okay, we need a whisk. Then, then, then. Um, we also need the mixer. Very cheap. We need two big bowls as well. Um, okay, I have this. Not sure. Okay, I have one. This is not the bowl, but I guess this will do. So for the ingredients, we need two and one quart cups of flour. So I guess we'll be needing measuring cups. Measuring cup. Okay. Two and one quart cups of flour. What flour? A bag of flour. Okay. Baking soda. Baking soda. Baking soda. This baking soda, this container, is was actually used for my dog's cookie. So I recycled it and just put my baking powder. I just said baking soda. Sorry, we don't need baking powder. Blah. Baking soda, baking soda. Ah, there we go. Yep. Baking soda. <laughs> One cup of butter. Okay. Butter. Anchor. Anchor. Anchor or anchor? Sugar. Um, white sugar. One half cup of sugar. So I have white salt sugar. One cup of brown sugar. I also have that. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Okay. Salt. One teaspoon of salt. Salt is here. What else? Van okay, two teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. I prepared for this. Bought this from online as well. McCormick vanilla extract. Two large eggs. I guess I need to choose which one is large egg. Okay, this one's large. So. Okay, two large eggs. Two cups chocolate chips. I don't have enough. This is not two cups, but I guess we're not gonna have that much chocolate chip. Two and one fourth cups of flour. Make it easy. Okay, so flour, one half teaspoon baking soda. One half teaspoon of baking soda. Just need to mix it. Yes. Okay, and then let's put this aside. How do you measure this? It's just like I'm gonna cut and like let's see what happens. You can't have two. I, I think it doesn't matter if you have a lot of butter, right? 
Comment down below, can you please like tell me if I did it wrong? So, if I slice it in the middle and then put it here, I guess that's one cup. One cup of brown sugar. Then we need to mix it. Ouch! Ouch! It's not goofy thing. Nobody. I think it's not high enough. Okay, I'm just gonna. one teaspoon of salt so it's like if this is a half teaspoon i just need to put twice right okay we need kosher salt but i don't know what is kosher salt so i'm just like salt one salt one <laughs> half a teaspoon one salt two teaspoon of vanilla extract a lot i guess one two three four we also mix in the eggs Eggshells, be careful. You don't want them in here. Okay, unless you do. I don't know. Do you? I don't like eggshells. Okay. Two large eggs. Now we need to add the flour slowly. Okay. Okay. Um, and then we just like add our chocolate chips. I think that's like mixed enough. Mmm. Yummy. Can I eat this? I already ate it. We're gonna see if we're, we can actually bake cookies using an air fryer. Okay. So, of course, an air fryer, this is like the inside of an air fryer. Um, if you search online, they're gonna tell you that you need to buy certain kinds of pans to put inside your air fryer so that you can use it to make pizzas, to bake cookies, bake cakes, bake breads, and so on. But I feel like it's already enough. I don't want to buy um, any other pans for this because I don't want and I refuse to buy uh, pans. I'm just gonna be using, what paper is this called again? The baking paper. Wax paper. Am I right? Waxing paper. Paper wax. Comment down below what paper is. <laughs> Let's just try to bake like three or four. Three. I feel like the other. This Marta Stewart's recipe. Um, well, she did it. She baked it in the oven and it needs to like preheat to 200 degrees for like something something um we're just gonna eyeball this uh what do i mean by that is that we're just gonna check the cookies every like five minutes to see if they're baked and ready to be eaten or be taken out of the air fryer okay i'm just gonna wash my hands again i guess baking is good because like i washed my hands a lot <laughs> So you can like go uh, go ahead and cook or bake and then you'll wash your hands off. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. Timer. There's no timer. Okay, so we're gonna do like 180, I guess. Because we don't want to like make it hot really fast. Cause like I said, 
it's an air fryer. I don't know how this works, but I feel like I don't want it to be at 200 real quick. Okay, um, so I'm gonna be setting it to 25 minutes or 30. Well, we can just like, okay? So yeah, let's wait and see. Okay, so the reason why I am doing this is because there are like two reasons. First is that I'm still in lockdown here in China. Number two is that I only have an air fryer and I recently joined a lot of workshops and in one of those workshops there was a speaker and she said that well she told the story about the time that she wanted to make a coleslaw salad but didn't have the right ingredients. Long story short, uh, her point was like to make use of the things that you have and be grateful because you have those things. So I feel that that struck me a little bit because I kept complaining that I didn't have an oven, I couldn't cook things, and I couldn't make things. Um, yeah, but because I do have air fryer, so I thought that, hey, maybe we could uh, research more of how to use an air fryer, what is an air fryer, and the things that we could do with an air fryer. And lo and behold, Lo and behold, I found out that an air fryer is basically a convectional oven. Is it convect oven? Convectional oven. I don't know what that means, but there's the word <coughs> oven. Hey, she laughed. <laughs> Just wake up. But there's a word oven in there, so maybe... Um, well, in my understanding, an air fryer is just like a regular <coughs> oven. Okay, I'm sorry for my dog. Okay. It has been exactly 10 minutes. Okay, that's like brown enough. Okay, I'm just gonna unzoom. And that's it for our air fry cookies. Let me take a taste. Mm. Mm. Hot. They're really good. Chocolatey. Okay, so I guess you could do. You really could um, bake cookies using air fryer. Okay, that's it. Um, I guess that's it. Again, my name is Char, and I create lifestyle, ESL, and expert guide videos here on YouTube. If you're into me, <laughs> if you're into that content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. See you again next time. Goodbye.